Okay, if this video, if Ozzy's video gets 50 likes, he has to buy a lens from wish.com and post an Instagram photo with it. <laughs> What's in my camera bag? 2020. Look here. Okay, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. We're out here somewhere in Victoria. I'm not giving out my location. I've decided to do this video outside today because it's a good day outside. So, what better to do a camera bag video? Because there's nothing else to do because you can't go outside. Well, we can go outside, but like, yeah. So the main event of this video is what camera I use. And the camera I use is the Sony a7 III. Last year, I would have told you that I used the Canon 80D, but this year, I decided to move to Sony. If you ask me why, I have no idea. I just like the camera, I like the low light, I like all the specs. It's a good camera. I highly recommend it if you're beginning, if you're a pro, if you're a YouTuber, anything. It's just a great all-around camera. The specs are insane, and it's not, it doesn't really break your budget. Well, it does, it's like 2,000 and a half. <laughs> It's like $2,500, which is expensive. But when you compare all the specs to like a 1D, you basically get the exact same stuff for cheaper and you get better low light. So Sony a7 III is the first thing in my camera bag. The main lens I use with the Sony a7 III is what's on the camera right now, and that is the 16-35 f4 by Zeiss. I chose not to get the 2.8 because it was first off cheaper, and I feel like you get the exact same image quality from the F4 version than the 2.8 version. So I was like, why not save some money? And it's a great lens, highly recommend it. Great camera for Sony. So, great camera for Sony. Did I say that? Great lens for Sony. So the second lens I use for the Sony a7 III is the good old, the good old 85mm from Sigma. This lens is just insane. Would you do street photography, portraits, Basically every single portrait I shoot is with this lens. It's just an insane lens and relatively cheap. It's like a, what a thousand bucks? Yeah, a thousand bucks. It's you can get I got this second hand for like what? <coughs> fucking eight hundred bucks. And like good lens, good build quality. It is a bit heavy and it doesn't have stabilization, but like I'm not shooting much video with this anyway, so yeah, good lens by Sigma. It's also 1.4, I've got to say that, so you can really get a shallow depth of field with this. Alright, so moving on to a different kind of style of photography and where I get my drone clips and drone photos, I use the DJI Mavic Air. This bad boy. It's so small, like, it's such a the size of like a Subway sandwich, bro. Shit small. Bang. So small, compact, and it's just a great all-round drone. Shoots, I don't know the specs, you can search it up. Yeah, it shoots good images, great video, and like, yeah, for the price, it's like 1,200 bucks. It's great drone, highly recommend it. All my drone clips and drone photos are taken with this, it's just an insane camera. It is basically a camera. Insane drone, and yeah, that's my drone. Now, everyone asks me why I didn't buy the Mavic Pro, and my thought behind it is just, it gives you basically similar specs, it's half the size, half the price, and it gives you basically the same images, same video, same everything, apart from little minor things. And since it's so small, I can send it through trees, I can take it up here through small gaps. The sensors are great on it. So yeah, I don't really see the point in buying the Pro at the moment, especially because I don't really use it that much. I kind of just use it for photos sometimes and just clips for YouTube so I might I might upgrade this in the future but at the time of this recording this is a great camera drone GoPro this is my GoPro I don't really use it that much it's the GoPro Hero 7 Silver so I shoot all my POV videos with this I only really have what one fucking POV video I'm doing more after Ron I trust so yeah I have heaps of stuff with this seek to get small angles small angles, weird angles in small places. Um, yeah, they just come in handy. So I'd recommend getting a GoPro or the Osmo Action, actually. I'd actually probably, I think if I'm ever gonna buy another action cam, I'm gonna buy the Osmo Action. Is it the Action? Yeah, I think so. I think it's called the Action. 
but yeah these are handy you need one of these in your camera bag and they are relatively cheap to get one so the microphone that I use is the Rode Video Micro I'll take the mic off right now to show you guys this is it this little guy it's so cheap it's like 80 bucks highly recommend this microphone for like youtubers I know a bunch of youtubers with heaps of subscribers who use this microphone it's just great for run and gun it's so small like I can fit this in my pocket if I wanted to great it doesn't use batteries it just runs with the camera and yeah absolutely great microphone for beginners and if you want good audio now this shit comes. every youtuber loves this and also hates this at the exact same time it's great for running guns great for vlogging it's great for setting it up actually no it's <laughs> shit to set it up this thing like like you can, it's like cracks like the shit pops out bro so yeah this is the joby pod 3k would recommend it but like if you want your camera like fucking <laughs> die in two years don't buy this so what i'm showing you right now is just like the little like knickknacks and shit that you don't really need but i just have so i got some drone fuck I'm i've lost one <laughs> all right so i've got drone nds those are essential to me i always have a i always use my drone with the three stop one i don't know why extra batteries what else i got lens cleaning kit you need that Oscar doesn't even clean his. Yeah, I've, I've like never cleaned my lens. When Oscar forgets to put his mic on. Forgot to put the <laughs> fucking mic on. Now this bad boy. This, my friends, is the peak. This isn't even a peak design. <laughs> 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 That's how bad he wants a peak design. <laughs> That's how bad I want a peak design. Alright, this, my friends, is the Low Pro 350 AW 2 Pro or some shit. I don't even know. Here we go. Pro Tactic BP 350 AW2. <laughs> you got it totally wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is a great camera bag. I know Jordy wants this. This is a fresh camera bag. Highly recommend it. I bought the 350 instead of the 450 because I don't really want to be like walking around with a giant fucking <laughs> camera bag. So it just looks gay. But like, yeah, great weather. It's great weather seal. It's got like a fucking <laughs> rain jacket and shit. When I use that, got the thing. The things that I have extended to this is the tripod thing and a water bottle and some sticks in there, apparently. But yeah, it holds all my gear up perfectly. It feels nice and soft. Like, look at this. Fits everything, boys. Yeah. So, yeah, I fit everything that you just saw in this video in this bad boy. Would recommend it because it's just a great all-around camera bag. It's slim design most important thing in the camera bag and the most important thing GoPro <laughs> alright so I've got the camera off the tripod because I'm showing you what tripod I use the tripod I use is the Manfrotto B3 tripod by Manfrotto absolutely great tripod now this tripod is <laughs> expensive it's $200 but it's worth every single dollar in my opinion it looks chunky it's actually light as shit, like I can hold the shit with my pinky. Absolutely great. It's a travel tripod, that's why it's a bit more slimmed down. So you can fit it on a plane, you can fit it, I can fit it in that backpack. I can fit it anywhere I want. Absolutely great tripod, highly recommend it. All right guys, that's what's in my camera bag for 2020. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna leave everything down in the description below. So if you are interested in buying any of this stuff, which I would recommend because I feel like lots of this stuff's really good for beginners and intermediate and also pros. So yeah, I'm gonna leave everything down in the description below. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Visuals, like and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm posting like three times a week now, so get keen for that. Yeah, that's what's in my camera bag. Laters.